Ready to learn airbending? I'd like you to teach me. Well, let's breeze in to the Avatar Academy to learn the various techniques of airbending. We're starting off with the very basics. Just drying yourself off. Ain't nobody gonna save the world with wet clothes. <laughs> Turns out clouds are made of water. Another useful everyday move? A gentle land for the gentle benders. We have some serious business to attend to. Ugh! By picking up the wind speed a bit, you get the air jump. This is especially useful in escaping harm's way. Or just getting the high ground. Oh no! Woohoo, look at me! Need to put some space between you and an enemy? Try a kicking jet stream. If you're trying to cut some corners, a swinging flat hand makes an excellent air blade. Whether you're clearing a roadblock or opening an ancient lock, a double-handed hyperblast can provide some powerful problem solving. We'll have to be fast, but careful. How is that careful? That lemur, he's earthbending. Did you know that a targeted wind pulse can accelerate objects? Good idea! That'll make us go even faster! And when done masterfully, you can even accelerate yourself. Now that's how you hit the ground running. It says here that the Avatar can create tornadoes and run faster than the wind. Pretty amazing. Ah, that's just a bunch of Fire Lord propaganda. There's no way that's true. Taking a deep breath has a different meaning for airbenders. Use it to fight gravity or other forces of nature. Man, sometimes I forget what a powerful bender that kid is. Be careful if you can't control that super breath. They say an airbender sneeze can create more propulsion than a modern day jet engine. What's your problem? As your fine motor skills improve, you'll be able to use airbending to suspend other objects. This is great for entertaining others. <clears throat> Usually. What about this? Not that again. You can even airbend objects into your grasp. What is this, a weapon? You can't stab anything with this. It's not for stabbing. It's for airbending. Expert nomads can amplify their airbending through an object. This really ramps up the strength of your air blades. Similarly, you can use a glider to simulate flight. You know, last time I checked, humans can't fly. Check again. Just don't fly too close to the sun. Or snowbank. Flight can also be performed at a smaller scale by channeling your bending through a staff or pole with a spinning motion. This helicopter technique doubles as a great shield. If I go with you, will you promise to leave everyone alone? A directly applied windshield may not be the most effective, but it can still provide explosive results. This one we've only seen once, the Silhouette Blast. Another unique technique coined by Avatar Aang is the air scooter. First you form the ball, then you gotta get on quick. This can be used for mobility, mid-air suspension, and even offensive attacks. By surrounding yourself in a ball of air, you can create one of the most effective shields, the air sphere.
Another stepping stone worth learning? The tiny tornado. Did you get all that? Sure, sure, I got it. Once mastered, you can graduate to towering twisters. Great for direct attacks, quick escapes, and directing massive objects. Sparing you, so Finally, cloud bending is best done with their water bender present. <gasps> oh my! Don't have any water benders? No worries. Quick, recover the avatar! It can even be used at ground level to create or clear coverage. your favorite technique? Comment below and keep following for all things Avatar. I laugh at gravity all the time. <laughs> gravity.